Guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, especially if you love college football as much as I do. Congratulations to both The Ohio State and Georgia for getting a playoff matchup in the semifinal. Both teams are deserving of being in the playoffs. I think they're both great football teams. Uh, even as a Michigan fan, I'm done trolling Ohio State. They're in. That's all that matters. Um, a lot of people are not giving them a chance to beat Georgia. Well, let me tell you, Ohio State's a dangerous team. Remember, they still have a really good offense. Statistically, their defense is better than what it was a year ago. And you can make the case that if those two big runs didn't happen, even though Michigan was clearly a better team, it's possible to say they weren't 20-something points better than Ohio State. You know, I know it was at Ohio State, but let's give them the benefit of a doubt. Georgia, they've been dominant all year. Good grief. Now, I say Ohio State is a dangerous team because they're just as talented, if not more talented, than Georgia. Uh, for Ohio State to win this game, they have to air it out a lot with uh, C.J. Stroud, one of the best quarterbacks in the country. They have a bunch of NFL wide receivers um, that I think Georgia's going to have problems with in this game. And if you look at Georgia's games, even the games they've won, they've had problems with the passing game when they play a pretty good passing offense, like LSU, uh, Oregon with Bo Nix. I know they didn't get, get touchdowns, but he was able to throw the ball downfield a lot in that game. Uh, not a lot, but, you know, enough to where, hey, if I'm a passing offense, I know how to, uh, to attack Georgia. Anthony Richardson had some success passing against Georgia. So Ohio State needs to do that and mix up the run game a little bit. And they're getting some players back, so they have a chance with Georgia, you know. Um, as far as uh, Georgia, don't do anything differently. Play your offense. Do what you do with Stetson Bennett, with uh, Brock Bowers. Run the football. Mix it up. You're a really balanced offense. You're a really good offense. Georgia's defensive line. Do what you do. Blow up the line of scrimmage. Jalen Carter, get back there and get to C.J. Stroud. Harass them. And if I'm Ohio State, if I'm C.J. Stroud, get the ball out of my hands as quick as possible. I was trying to eat up some clock. Both offenses need to do that because they're both very productive on offense. As far as a prediction and a score prediction, <sighs> I have to go with Georgia. I really don't think this game is going to be ugly like most people think it is. Because remember, Ohio State is just as talented as uh, Georgia, if, if, not mu if not more or a little bit less. They should be evenly matched in terms of talent and players. And Ohio State's a winning team, so they know how to win. But I think Georgia is the better team. I don't think they're 20, 30 points better than Ohio State, but I think they're the better team. I think they're the more physical team. If you look at Ohio State when they lost to Michigan and struggled with Penn State and Notre Dame, physicality was a problem. So that's a big red flag. I think it will be too much for them to overcome. I think the fact that this game's in Atlanta and the Peach Bowl is going to be too much for Ohio State to overcome. I think it will be competitive for three quarters, but I do think that uh, Georgia will pull away in this game. Uh... The only problems with Georgia, maybe the pass defense, which isn't terrible. They still get picks. They still, you know, do great things. Uh, Georgia has been known to sleepwalk into games. That's been a problem. They've been, they've been known to take a half off or two quarters off offensively. That could be a problem. But I still think their defense will get the C.J. Stroud and shut him down for the most part. I think Georgia wins this game comfortably 38-21, to 21, something like that.